Okay, so let's create a pilot window where we can display our physics simulations. But first of all, install Pilot itself. So open your command window or PowerShell or terminal and just type pip install Pilot. And in the case, if you don't know what Pilot is, then go to uh, the Bitbucket org and Pilot slash Pilot. And as you see, Pilot is a cross-platform windowing and multimedia library for, for Python. Intended for developing games and other visually rich applications. It uh, supports windowing, user interface, event handling, open geo graphics, uh, loading images and videos, and playing sounds and Mm, Pilot works on Windows, OS X and Linux. So Pilot is installed. So just start to create a window. Okay, so go to PyCharm or whatever editor you, you, are, you are using and import Pilot. First thing, I'm going to create a window object. So window equals pilot that window that capital window. The first two values are the windows width and the height. So 1280 for the width and 720 for the height. And then the title of the window. So I'm going to call it PyMonk tester and I am also going to set the resizable to false. Resizable equals false. Then I'm going to just create the if uh, underscore underscore name uh, name equals equals underscore underscore main then call the pilot that up that run and this will create a window and run it so let me see it so as you see this window is 1280 by 720 it its title is PyMonk Tester and it is not resizable. Okay, so let's continue. I'm going to create an update method. Update, updater, update. And it will take as an argument a DT or a delta time. And for now, just pass it will do nothing for now and I will set uh, up that pilot will call this update method uh, 60 times in a second so we can do this by calling the pilot dot clock dot schedule interval and give it the function which is the update and the interval which will be 1 over 60 so now this update method is called every uh, 1 60th of a second And now I'm going to create the windows on draw method, which will be an, a decorated event. So window that event event without the parentheses. So def on underscore draw. 
first thing we are going to clear the color buffer with so window that clear so everything we we are going to draw we we'll go into this function to on draw okay so now from the previous video basic simulation i'm just going to copy all of these things under the window so of course let's import pymonk also pymonk so we are creating a space we are setting the space uh, gravity uh, vertical gravity to negative uh, 1000 and we are creating a physics body and setting its position on 50x and 100y and adding this body to the space so this Previously, we created this while loop and we updated the space in the while loop. Now we are going to update the space in the, in the update method. So let's just call space that step step and give it the dt, so the delta time. And this is a small value, so this is about, uh, let me see, 1 over 60. 0.016 so let's run the application we won't see anything I'm just testing if everything works so in order if you want to see uh, the actual um, physical object you need to create a shape because a body is just the definition of uh, a physics body so let's create a shape and call it uh, poly why not and this will be the pymonk that poly yes poly and that create box create box it the first argument it's need it needs a body so we are giving the body we defined here and it also has a size but for now I'm going to leave it as it is so in in order to actually draw this uh, this uh, shape uh, we are going to use here it is in the API reference this pymang.pyglet util it also has a pymang.pygame util and the pymang.matplotlib util so if you want to use debug draw options you can use it with matplotlib pygame and pyglet but um, if you just uh, going to use another windowing application like tkinter or wakes python or i don't know pycute then uh, unfortunately uh, you don't have these debug draw options for those uh, libraries or frameworks so import the pymonk.pyglet.util pyglet.util and the draw options yes draw options and here after we created the window I'm going to give it the options equals draw options and now here in the on draw after we, we cleared the windows uh, color buffer I'm going to uh, call the space dot debug draw with the options yes and of course we need to add this shape also to the space so 
here, space.add. After the body, I'm going to add the poly as well. So, if everything went okay, we are going to see uh, in the lower left side, so 50 and 100 falling uh, box. Uh, it, here it was, so I'm going to move this in the middle of the screen, so 640 and on the Y, let's say 700. So, and change the shapes size. So size equals, it's a tuple, so 50 and 50. So that was for this video and thanks for watching.